गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स हेलो एवरी वन सो इफ आई एम ऑडिबल प्लीज गिव अ थम्स अप साइन वेलकम टू यू ऑल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल दाइंस एंड स्कोर्स दैट वी यूज इन अपेंडिसाइटिस ओके so let's start first of all i would like to discuss about the anatomical position of appendix because a few question has been asked related to this see most common position is retrocecal many times student get confused between retrocecal and pelvic position uh see retrocecal position is the most common type okay it is 60% of the position of appendix is retrocecal about 30% of the appendix are pelvic in position rest other are not so common they are you should remember the names they are preilial postilial subsecal paracecal and sometimes there are sub ileal positions also okay so most common is retrocecal second most common is pelvic position so remember these positions and the most common position remember that because it has been asked in your exams already now what is appendicitis it is an inflammation of appendix and mostly it is due to obstruction so it the obstruction in the appendix can be due to anything can be due to fecolith which is most common cause of obstruction in appendix it can be due to any foreign body it can be due to any worms infestation okay so there are many causes of obstruction in the appendix that leads to inflammation and causes acute appendicitis there is very famous triad in appendix that is known as murphy's triad what is this triad there is fever there is pain and there is vomiting okay pain is specifically in right iliac fossa so pain in the right iliac fossa then fever and vomiting this is murphy's triad okay now initially in appendicitis pain starts at umbilicus okay and then it migrates to macburney point can anyone tell me where is the macburney point where is the macburney point you can write down in comments so this is important landmark while doing open appendectomy macburney point is very important landmark okay so pain starts at the umbilicus in appendicitis it does not start at the macburney point many times the pain is mild so patient may not complain you about the um, pain at the umbilicus okay but pain actually starts at the umbilicus and then it migrates to macburney point now there is a sign known as rovsing sign so see there are many signs of appendicitis you should know all of these signs and kaun se sign mein kya uh, karne se pain hota hai you should know all that okay so remember the name students they can uh, they can directly ask you questions like rovsing sign is seen in or dwelfo triad is seen in or murphy triad or obturator test is for any type of questions can be asked related to this direct mcq can be asked okay or they may ask you which of the following sign is seen in appendicitis such questions also can be asked so rovsing sign is pain at right iliac fossa when left iliac fossa is pressed okay when left iliac fossa is pressed or it is palpated deep then there will be pain in the right iliac fossa second sign is cope swas sign see cope swas sign and obturator test are actually it is due to inflamed appendix the muscles the swas muscles in the swas sign and obturator muscles in the obturator test come indirectly in contact with in, uh, inflamed appendix and it causes pain in the right iliac fossa how so cope swa sign causes uh, actually this test uh, is done by extending the hip joint and when there is extension in the hip joint the swa muscle will come in 
indirectly in contact with appendix, inflamed appendix, and it will cause pain in the right iliac fossa. Similarly, when you do internal rotation of hip or you do flexion of the hip joint, then there will be obturator muscle that will come in indirectly in contact with the inflamed appendix and it will cause pain in the right iliac fossa. Now there is dolphotride. This dolphotride is actually very important, right? There is guarding. There is this question has also been asked. Uh, dolphotride consists of so it consists of guarding. Second is tenderness at the right iliac fossa and hyperesthesia at right iliac fossa. So direct MCQ can be asked. They can give you any three of these and they can ask you which of the following is not included in dolphotride. Such questions can be asked. So guarding tenderness at right iliac fossa, hyperesthesia at right iliac fossa is dolphotride. Then there is Aron test. There will be pain in the supra umbilical area when right iliac fossa is pressed. So this is Aron test. Okay. Now you can see this sign while extending the hip joint there will be pain in the right iliac fossa due to inflamed appendix there will be pain in the right iliac fossa this is swas sign this is obturator sign while doing flexion or internal rotation at the hip joint there will be pain in the right iliac fossa this is also due to inflamed appendix seen in acute appendicitis okay so remember these two signs now coming on to the scores so very famous score you must be knowing about it Alvorado score. There is a mnemonic to remember this score, and the mnemonic is Mantrels. Okay, what is Mantrel? See, this score is very important. You can note it down. This uh, all the final year students and interns, you you must be knowing about this score. Those students who are in first year, second year, they can note it down. It's very important score. Mantrels means M for migratory right iliac fossa pain. And the point is given 1. The score is given when there is pain in the right iliac fossa. If it is a migratory pain, migratory right iliac fossa pain, then the score is 1. Then there can be anorexia. For anorexia, it is given 1 score again. Then nausea and vomiting, it is given 1 score again. Then tenderness at right iliac fossa. This tenderness is very specific at right, specific for acute appendicitis at right iliac fossa. So it is given 2 score. Okay, then there will be rebound tenderness at same point right iliac fossa. It is also given one score. Then there will be raised temperature or elevated temperature. Mandrels may ease for elevated temperature. So again, one score, one point is given to elevated temperature. Then leukocytosis. More than 12,000 WBC count is considered as leukocytosis. So uh, it is given two score. So remember for rebound, uh, sorry, for tenderness at right iliac fossa and raised TLC these two uh, things these two parameters have given uh, are given two points rest all are given one points then there will be shift these are all laboratory findings leukocytosis and shift to left which is also given one score so total score if you will see then there will be total there will be 10 points okay minimum is one and maximum is 10 and there are total eight parameters so total eight parameters minimum score one maximum score 10 and the mnemonic for alvorado score is mantrels so remember all these uh, parameters very important so mantle scores may score may there are eight parameters but score count is one to ten and if the score is more than seven it is considered to be acute appendicitis and if the score is between 5 to 7, then it is like, uh, it is not 100% sure. So we plan CT scan in those patients when the score is in between 5 to 7. Okay, more than 7, acute appendicitis, plan for open appendicectomy. Now, see, if the score, Alvarado score is less than 4, then it excludes the diagnosis. If the score is 5 to 6, it is equivocal, we will plan for CT scan or 5 to 7 and more than 7, strongly suggestive of appendicitis. Okay, There is again a modified Alvarado score. What is that? See, in Alvarado, there were total 10 points, but in modified Alvarado score, we removed the differential count Okay, and then the score is total 1 
टू नाइन मिनिमम इज वन मैक्सिमम इज नाइन पॉइंट ओके सो दैट इज मॉडिफाइड एलवोराडो स्कोर देन इन चिल्ड्रेन इन पीडियाट्रिक एज ग्रुप वी फॉर एसेसिंग दिसाइटिस वी टेक वी टेक पास दैट इज पीडियाट्रिक एपेंडिसाइटिस स्कोर ओके हेयर ऑल्सो द टोटल काउंट इज टेन बट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एल्वोराडो एंड पीडियाट्रिक एपेंडिसाइटिस स्कोर रिबाउंड टेंडरनेस इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन पास सो रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट पास में इन पीडियाट्रिक एपेंडिसाइटिस को रिबाउंड टेंडरनेस इज एक्सक्लूडेड इज इज नॉट काउंटेड ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस विच वॉज गिवेन टू स्कोर इन एल्वोराडो इट इज गिवेन वन स्कोर इन पीडियाट्रिक एपेंडिसाइटिस स्कोर ओके इट इज गिवेन वन पॉइंट and the leukocytosis is more than 10000 it is given one point okay and there is another thing see rebound, rebound tenderness was excluded leukocytosis more than 10000 is given one score so you have removed two points okay then this two point is given for cuff percussion or hopping tenderness so then there will be again 10 points in pass so remember students it is uh, it is a important score okay pass now coming on to another score that is known as zanaki score zanaki score is again for acute appendicitis and there are total only four parameters what are these four parameters first is right lower abdominal tenderness okay then rebound tenderness then wbc count more than 12000 and positive ultrasound findings so these ultrasound findings are very important and they it is if it is positive it is their ultrasound features findings are there then it is given six points so maximum points are given for ultrasound and this is included in zanaki score okay very important criteria so the minimum score you should remember in zanaki is 2 and maximum is 15 if the zanaki score is more than 8 then there are 96% chance the patient is having acute appendicitis you should do open appendectomy okay so again i am repeating wbc more than 12000 i am repeating the zanaki score again let's go from lower points to higher wbc more than 12000 is given 2 points rebound tenderness given 3 points lower right iliac fossa abdominal tenderness is given 4 points and positive ultrasound features or findings of appendicitis what are these positive ultrasound findings can anyone tell me what are these positive ultrasound findings it is given 6 points so total score if you see total is 15 and minimum score is 2 2 to 15 is the total okay score of zanakis so there are total four parameters in zanakis and the score count is 2 to 15 if it is more than 8 appendicitis is 96% chances of appendicitis need to go for open appendectomy then <laughs> investigation over appendicitis is very important crp which is raised wbc it is raised it is also considered in a parameter in this scoring system and ultrasound finding which is in zanakis is given 6 points these import it is very very important ultrasound is also the investigation of choice in acute appendicitis and what are the findings what are the positive findings on ultrasonography tubular non compressible non peristaltic blind ending structure tubular non peristaltic non compressible blind ending structure it is Uh, if the width of the appendix is more than 6 mm and length is more than 6 cm these these both are important criteria width more than 6 mm and length more than 6 cm is acute appendicitis the treatment of, of it is appendectomy now i have a one question for you all just try to answer this question i am reading it for you which of the following clinical signs is not associated with acute appendicitis very simple question we have done it today only options are pointing sign rofsing sign cullen sign obturator sign so anyone can answer
okay so answer of this question is cullen sign the pointing sign means if you will ask the patient where is the pain he will point to mcburney's point okay so that is pointing sign he will point a finger at McBurney's point. That is pointing sign. Rovsing sign and obturator sign we have discussed. Cullen sign is uh, not seen in acute appendicitis case. It is mostly seen in uh, acute pancreatitis when there is discoloration. There are other signs also in pancreatitis for discoloration. Can anyone tell me? yes so there are many many signs okay for acute pancreatitis cullen sign is one of them okay so students in the coming month in august i'll be taking plus classes on an academy there will be total 16 classes and i'll try to cover git i have divided git into three parts first part of 16 classes of one hour each i'll take in plus course of an academy okay in august and then 16 classes of one hour each in september and third part of git i'll take in october so in three months three coming months of 16 classes each month i'll take git and similarly i'll discuss mcqs in special classes of an academy okay i'll try to discuss few mcqs in uh, youtube sessions also so try to be there take care bye bye